Welcome friends to the series of learning Google Cloud Platform. And we will continue the series of Google Cloud Storage Solutions. In the last lecture, we saw how we can create a bucket and how we can upload the objects inside the bucket. We created a hierarchical structures and we saw, we saw how we can create different folders inside the bucket. Now, in the last lecture, we created this learning light logo.jpg file inside this uh, Google Cloud bucket. And we have provided the uniform access uh, of this particular bucket. So we cannot enable bucket level policy over here. We also uh, prevented uh, the public access so that we cannot able to access these objects inside the bucket from public. Uh, we cannot have our public access inside any of the objects uploaded in this bucket. So in this particular lecture, we will actually see how we can make the objects public inside a bucket in Google Cloud Platform. So let's get started. So first and foremost thing, we need to see this particular object, uh, learning light logo.jpg, uh, we can't able to access it from the public. And if we go to this particular object, we can see this authenticated URL is there. But if we just, you know, access this authenticated URL from a private browser, we can see that it will ask for the authentication. So uh, what exactly we need to do, we need to go to this bucket and first and foremost thing, we need to go to this permission tab and we are going to remove the prevention of the bucket to be public. Now, uh, right now still, I mean, if we go to this object and we can see uh, still we don't have any public URL assigned though we just provided that this particular bucket can be public. Okay, so what exactly we need to do, we can go to this permission and we can see the lots of permissions are there uh, on this uh, particular uh, bucket. And what we need to do, we can grant the access over there, over there. But still, uh, let me show you, if I go over there and see, uh, we can see, uh, the edit access uh, button is there for the object level, but if we click, we cannot able to uh, act, uh, change the access of this object. The only reason because we have provided the uniform bucket. So if we go to this bucket and if we see the configuration, we can see we have provided this access control as uniform. So that means all the objects inside this particular bucket will have the same permission. But if we go to this object and try to edit the access, individual access of this particular object, we should not able to do because uh, we are having the uniform access. So let's click this one and it is saying that you cannot do because uh, it is having the uniform bucket level access. So if we change it to fine grained access, then we can able to change the access. But here, uh, first, we need to change our entire bucket's permission to public. So how we can do that? Let me go to this permission and we can actually grant the access to all users. And all users means all the users, doesn't matter whether uh, that particular user is authenticated user or non-authenticated user, all the user should have the storage. We basically want to give the storage object viewer permission so that any user can actually able to view the storage object and we can save it. Now, if I do so, the pop-up is coming, whether are you sure to want to make this resource public? And I intentionally want to do that. So I just click yes. And you can see all users are right now having the storage object viewer permission. 
and it is now it is saying that it is actually public to internet so uh, we can go to this object and now let's go to these object details and see it is saying that i need to refresh because i got one public url so if i copy this public url and let me go over here i just open a new tab it's a private browser and if i click this one i can see this object is basically accessible from the public now i actually don't want to do this because it's a little bit risky you can't make the entire bucket as public it's a security risk it is not advisable to do that rather if you really want a little bit of information to be exposed to the public you just keep that particular object to public not the entire bucket so for example i right now i'm having a single object inside this bucket now let me upload uh, let me upload a new object over here inside this bucket so let me check if i am having let me upload one more image that i do have so let me upload this image over there now my upload is started and my upload is actually finished and if i go to this i have this banner uploaded and i did not specify whether my this particular object is going to be public or not but unfortunately i got one public url and if i go to my private browser and let me open a new tab and if i click this particular go to this url i can see my object is really public so really i don't want to do this because i don't want all the objects to be public whatever i do upload inside the bucket uh, it should not be like that so first and foremost thing that i need to do i need to go to this configuration and i need to change the permission from uniform to fine grain now if i do so i can literally uh, change this entire bucket access from public to private what i will do i will actually delete this all user access now if i confirm this one definitely uh my and let me rephrase the information you can see my public url is gone but still if you are having my public url you can definitely able to access because it's the signed url so uh let me click this let me close these windows and i can see that my public URL is gone if i lose my public URL that was signed earlier i cannot able to access these files now as i have made is fine grained i can literally edit the access over here and i can make individual object as private or public so i can say public that is all users and save so that means this particular object this particular object is actually public and i got the public url i can copy it i can go over there and paste it and i can see the public url is accessible but if i go to this other one this logo one i cannot see any public url anymore so i if i grab it and if i go ahead and check this particular url i can see i have been asked to uh, have authenticated before i can access the image so thanks for watching this video friends so in this particular video we saw how we can play around with this play around the access level of the google cloud storage bucket and how we can give the access to public how we can prevent the access to to have it a public bucket and we can also 
we have also learned that how we can make object level access to public for a particular bucket so that we cannot give the public access for the entire bucket, rather we can provide the access to individual object, which is basically needed for the public access. Thank you again for watching this video. We will in the upcoming lectures see how we can play around off with versionings, lifecycle management, and many more things in GTS. It's a worst thing. And thanks for speaking together. We will see you in the next lecture. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.